everybody welcome to uh, Hendrix Adventures um, anyway I'm starting this uh, brand new <clears throat> this is my first video on here uh, for this um, Hendrix Adventure, uh, Adventures uh, my name is Damon um, anyway I'm here and I'm gonna be showing the backpack that I'm gonna be taking out um, in the wilderness and that um, I have my dog Lucky here I'm not gonna take him on a backpacking trip yet but I will eventually. But anyway, I'm gonna be digging into uh, what I'm gonna be taking on my backpacking trip up there. Um, basically, I'm starting this um, as a survival. We're gonna be testing out survival gear, um, going on adventures, seeing new new places. Um, and then I, in a minute, I will be talking about a little bit where I'm gonna be going. Uh, so anyway. I have this backpack here and I'll be showing you everything I'll be taking. Um, I got um, a tent in here that I, I'm going to be testing out. It's actually an emergency tent. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. Um, it's probably going to be in the next couple weeks or so uh, before I get a chance to be able to take this out. But um, anyway, I wanted to show you exactly what I'm going to be taking up there uh, to be able to survive. Um, it's only going to be a 24 hour trip. Um, so I'm basically going to be out in the middle of nowhere and see how that goes from there. Anyway, let's dig into what we're going to be doing. First, I'm going to start out with this uh, camel backpack right here. This is basically the only bag that has small enough. I'm basically doing a smaller bag to be able to do something a little bit, uh, um, different as far as weight um, you see the last in the beginning of this video you've seen some of my last back and trip or backpack and trip and I had 45 pounds 46 pounds actually on me so doing something different this is only weighing 13 pounds right now and it's everything I'm gonna be taking up there to be able to test so get this open here first thing emergency shelter that's exactly what I'm going to be um, using to uh, be able to have shelter um, out there in the middle of nowhere I'm basically testing this out um, I know it's a little bit of a risk but I've been doing my research and then and I've been preparing for this for a very long time so this should be turned out pretty good and you'll see more in my next video that I'll be doing um, up there uh, getting this stuff later I have this um, thermal blanket slash tarp and you see on this side I don't know if you can see it in there I'll unravel it later you guys will be able to see it when I'm up there but uh, this is basically um, a blanket that I got from Alpha Outposts. If you don't know about these guys, look them up. www.alphaoutposts.com um, They have a lot of these gear and stuff. And a lot of my gear that I have in here is from them. Uh, so I tested this out on my last backpacking trip. Works out great. Sorry about that. I had a little uh, video difficulty. Um, anyway, so yeah, this blanket I'll be taking for um, kind of like a sleeping bag um, up there. Uh, what we have here now, I'll just show this to you now. I have here, this is a hybrid light. Um, I got this for 30 bucks at uh, Big Five. 39 bucks actually. Um, it's a solar power light. Um, it would be able to charge my cell phone, so that way I could be able to. Uh, uh, get videos for you guys up there. Um, it is also a light, very bright. Um, worked really good in my last back pack of trip, so I'm gonna be taking that up there. Um, holds the charge really well. The satellite or the solar power um, actually works really, really good. So I'm excited about that. All right. So we have food. I'm just going to get the food now. That way you guys will be able to see. 
Um, basically, what I'm taking up there, I have a little mix of free food up there. I will be doing some cooking on the on the um, uh, the fire, and uh, I have here so a couple of MREs, and I'm um, in here are some uh, a vegetarian taco soup, which uh, um, it's got a lot of protein. I think it's got 12, 13 grams of protein, something like that in there. I'm um, also got some peanut butter in here and some uh, instant oatmeal. Um, that would be really good for like in the morning time. Um, I am bringing up here. Can't leave without it. Got the U, um, UST uh, uh, rations. This is actually apple, apple cinnamon. Uh, 2400 calories in this entire packet right here um, each bar is like 400 calories which would be really good to nourish my body and everything um, I don't really use this all all the time as far as like survival um, I do use this on my backpack and trips and stuff like that so if you guys are you know not familiar and you guys have it in your like your bug out bags and stuff like that um, Totally understandable. Um, this does last five years, but I do use these uh, quite a bit, and they're only. Um, it doesn't really taste that good, but it does help me out a, a lot to be able to get the calories in my body when I'm burning out there. Uh, so, um, this is a really good thing to have. I think so. Anyway. have here sure I put it in here oh here it is so I have my um, portable camp stove uh, right here that's gonna put on the fire um, it's actually um, I believe 10 inches long um, it's a 10 by 9 uh, stove It'll work really, really good out there. This is another thing I got from Alpha Outpost. Um, I haven't really got to try it out. I stuck it in the fire to be able to cook something when I went camping uh, last week, um, last weekend. But um, I didn't get to cook anything on it, so I'm excited to put something on there and be able to cook. So I have here all my miscellaneous stuff that I have. I got some matches in there, some duct tape, um, some instant. Um, um, towels uh, you get wet uh, mosquitoes uh, where I'm going there's a lot of mosquitoes so it's definitely something I need, need to have um, baby wipes definitely really really good to have when you're up there um, they're compact enough and if you need to answer the call in nature huggies baby wipes are always there for you so um, Probably won't be able to use this at all. Um, it's it's uh, so well. I think it's supposed to be about at least um, during nighttime, 53 degrees or 50 degrees um, Fahrenheit. But this is emergency BB. Um, it's by Mountain Equipment, um, and I haven't got to try this out yet. But um, just in case I do need it, it does get really cold at night. I am going to be going by a lake, um, and it does get. Um, um, basically where I'm be going, which I will explain, is um, it gets a little chilly. So we'll have that just in case for emergency. Um, right here we have um, the Alpha Outpost uh, cooking stove. Um, this is really compact, really light weight. Um, doesn't even weigh not even a pound, um, not even half a pound. But um, it is a, um, a a pot and it's uh, a pan uh, set. Um, I do have some silverware underneath here, as you can see. But I'm going to be replacing this. I have another one that I have in my kit in my truck that I'm going to be uh, taking up there. Which uh, this wouldn't be that bad at all. It's just you know. There's too many things is on it, and it comes apart on me. So I, I'm going to be changing this out. So I have here a dry bag. 
Now this dry bag is really good to have. That way when I'm up there, um, I'll be able to grab some of my paracord, uh, be able to wrap this up, uh, wrap my food and stuff in there and hang over the tree. Um, definitely gotta do that, especially if there are bears up there. Um, so you definitely do not want to get to your food or start searching around your area anyway. So I have a first aid kit right here. Um, I got this, this is actually a Be Smart, Get Prepared, um, just a simple brand um, that I got at Walmart. Um, uh, there's like, you know, some band-aids, some freaking antiseptic wipes, stuff like that in there. Uh, so it's really good to have for your first aid kit, just in case. I have about 80 feet of paracord. Um, that should be 20, uh, plenty uh, to have. Um, this is the 550 paracord. Uh, really good to have. Here I do have a simple compass. Um, really not too familiar with this brand or not. Um, it, this does work. I do know with some compasses they don't really exactly work. You do have to take them back and then try them out um, and see how they do. This one actually um, works actually pretty good. Um, I'm not a true fan of it, but it's uh, Brunton. I'm not really like too familiar with this kind of brand, but I will be taking this up there and uh, we'll be trying it out some more. So, there is gonna be a lake I am prepared for this. I do have some fishing gear right here uh, that I'm gonna be taking up there. I'm really compact. I got my um, rod and reel. Um, this rod is just a compact rod, like they call it a pin rod. But I won't be getting any like you know big fishes, like no ten pounders or anything like that. But I could, I know it'll hold about a good six pounds. So um, we'll be using that up there. Um, maybe I can catch some fish. So you got some lures and some hooks and stuff like that in here. Alright. Here, here I have a flashlight. This is actually a waterproof flashlight. Good for 100 meters. I'm not going to be doing any diving. But um, it is very, very bright. As you can see. Don't want to blind you. But um, I took this on my last backpacking trip. Excellent thing to have. Um, if my batteries do die, like I said, I do have the backup light right here that I can be able to use. Alright. Of course I have a uh, portable beanie. Uh, this would be uh, really good to be able to cover my face. It does open up where I can cover my neck for mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, and I also can drape it over and use it as to protect my neck from the sun. Now all my persons. I don't have it in here yet or anything like that. Um, I am wearing, going to be wearing a uh, pants slash shorts um, that zip up into shorts. Uh, so I'm going to be using those um, up there as well as I'm, I will be having like a, a small jacket and stuff like that just in case I need it. Because uh, it was saying it does drop in temperature. Uh, we are in here close to the South Cascades and that's exactly where I'm going to be going is the South Ca uh, Cascades here in Washington State. So the, we have bipolar weather here so it's definitely going to be you know dropping the temperature and then getting really hot during the day. So that's the way it goes. Don't know why it does that, it just does it. Uh, here I have a pillow. I can't sleep without a pillow. It's a really compact, another alpha outpost item. Do have a filter system. So I have the filter and I have the, the, the pouch uh, for it. Uh, really good to have, compact. Um, this does work. I tried it out in my last bad packet trip. It works out pretty good. Just in case I really need anything, I do have some aqua tabs uh, to be able to drop them there and get any, like, you know, uh, bacteria or anything that's inside of it. Alright, on my persons, what I'm going to be carrying. 
see if I have it in here. I don't have it here somewhere. I do have a survival pack. It's got a flint and stone in there just in case uh, um, that I need it. I do carry this with me. Just have a sewing kit just in case anything rips or anything like, like that. Um, really handy to have, especially when you're out there. You can't just go to a, a sew store or anything like that to be able to patch back up. So this would be definitely come in handy. Just have some extra um, paracord inside of it. Um, as well as a, a small pocket knife. Um, you have a stone to sharpen my gear up. I'd be showing. I'm not quite sure where my multi-tool is right now, but we'll show that at the end. Oh, here it is. Forgot where I put it. I have a goober. Oh, I call it a goober, but it's a goober. Um, multi-tool. Anyway, good thing to have. Um, I like this thing. I choose this over Leatherman. Don't know why. Maybe because I'm young. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to be using this quite a bit, especially the cut line and stuff like that. Uh, string. Um, always good to have a good... Um, good buck knife or survival knife. One or two. Anyway, I choose this one right here. This is a uh, brand by Alpha Outpost. I got one of the boxes that I received. Um, I like this thing. I tried it out. Made my hole if I had to answer the call of nature. Um, I, I was able to chop some wood with this. Um, very good thing to have. Um, so if your life you know, depends on it, you definitely have this. I use it for multiple uses. Um, so I am be taking this off there with me. The reason why I choose this is because of the way it handles. Um, I do like the way it fits in my hand. Um, also too, it's bulky enough, um, and it's got a good weight to it. Uh, the weight's good enough to be able to chop some wood. I chopped some wood with this just fine, made some kindling, um, and whatnot. It's perfect for that. I will be taking up me, I have a compact uh, saw. Um, this is my outdoor edge. Um, the, the blade's flimsy, but it does work actually pretty good. Um, I like it because it's compact, it's lightweight. Um, it doesn't really necessarily get in the way that much, um, but it opens up pretty good. It's got like at least a good 11 inch blade on it, which I am satisfied with. And as you can see, yeah, it is a little flimsy little thin but it does cut really good it's got multiple teeth on there as you can see I'll show you the angle if you can be able to see it but this is perfect right here so I'm gonna be taking this up there with me um, anyway I think that's all I got you guys um, like I said I am going to be going to South Cascades here in a couple weeks or so um, I had to get things out of the way um, do have some birthdays and stuff like that coming up that I had to be able to do, but I will post um, that as soon as I can when I'm up there. Um, so hopefully everything will go well. Um, I am going to be going up in the South Cascades. There's a two month. It's called Two Month Mountain and, and uh, uh, Two Sisters uh, Lakes is up there. Um, I would say if you guys are not really familiar with this area. Um, it's in between the 12 and the 410 um, up there close to White Pass. Um, it is a very, very beautiful area. I haven't exactly been on that trail per se, but I will be uh, exploring it and see how it goes. Um, so, so please stay tuned, everybody. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like to see some more, I will be taking... Um, um, uh, a lot of pictures too as well um, as video uh, but anyway uh, please subscribe this will help me be able to make more videos um, I've been really wanting to do this for a very long time have never really got it actually got a chance to do it uh, but this is going to be a very good experience 
um, all this stuff. I will be testing out some gear, just as this tent. Please wish me wish me the best of luck. Um, all my research and everything like that um, does evolve of trying to be able to survive out there, especially with the bare minimum. So, uh, like I said, I went ahead and crunched down my pack. Um, down to at least a good 13 pounds um, of weight so this would be a really good experience to be able to go out there and enjoy nature the way it is so I hope you like this video please once again subscribe if you want to see some more videos um, and I will be posting that I will be going up there and um, going on this great adventure so thank you for watching you guys have a good one